Hate to hear things like that happening. Terrible. All right. So uh, in the meantime, uh, ready to get back to work. It's uh, summer. Is is it pretty sad? Summer is almost over. Holy cow! I can't believe it. Just literally got about another what three more weeks, and we're pretty much done over there. I mean, it's uh, gonna. Yeah. Hopefully, everybody's ready to start enjoy their rest of their summer. I've done a couple of great activities. Time flies. Kids are ready to go back. Some kids are already starting to go back to college uh, next week or two. So um, let's kind of make the best of it. In the meantime, everyone, uh, last week we had a couple of good things that happened in the market. Uh, first of all, you see what's happening in the market uh, today. Let me tell you, it's going to be I, – I got out, out of all my swing trades. I told you that last week. Um, you know, I, I wasn't really going anywhere with my swings. It says, you know what, we're capping out. You got this whole once once uh, President Trump came out with raising the tariffs uh, on China. I'm like, you know, this doesn't look pretty good. And then and then it was like it was like, it was like a perfect storm. And then the Fed didn't really lower rates as much as they wanted to. So I'm like, eh, you know what? I'm not really making anything on the on these swings. Let me get out. And good thing I got out of it because they all pretty much tanked. And when you look at a lot of the long term, when you look at some of the stocks. Um, like, you know, some big leaders, for example. Like, let's talk about Amazon. I mean, like, stock was 2000 You know, now it's down to 1800 Microsoft. You know, when, you, when, you, when you're looking at some of these stocks. Oh, there we go. Uh, and we look at some of these stocks on where they're at and where they're trading at. I mean, they had some really, really nice runs. So you're going to get some type of a correction out there. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, you're going to get some corrections. Uh, that are in the market that that are going to affect, and uh, you just gotta like more or less just take your time and and uh, you know it's always nice to be in cash because you know there are a lot of stocks I wish I could have bought earlier and could have made some uh, made some uh, and held certain ones. You know, listen, there's always buying opportunities. So we all know what happened over the weekend. Uh, you know, one thing you learn being in the market, you learn exactly how economics do work. And you know that you heard what happened with China devaluing the currencies. And, you know, it's so funny. But if you talk to a lot of people, they just don't understand that. I don't even think the news people, when you hear President Trump talk about it, goes China keeps de devaluing their currency. And, and honestly, I've been hearing that for the past two, three years. Um, and you know what? You really until you keep hearing it over and over and over again, then you like it sinks in like and then you have people put in layman terms explaining how they devalue their currency and how the tariffs won't affect them. They just they just totally crush their currency to make up the difference. And, uh, you know, it looks like it's going to be a pretty nasty, uh, you know, a little war, trade war going on. Um, cold war, I basically would call it again, cold trade war. And it could happen all the way to the election. So, you know, I, I, I think we're going to have a little, little, little rockiness going on now, unless the feds keep lowering rates and then, Obviously, there's going to be more of a trade war going on from there on in. But you know what? What? How's this all help us? Volatility. That's what we want, right? That's what we need. Now, there were a couple of great stocks that did move. And one of the big ones that you have to keep an eye on is a lot of the ETFs. I mean, ETFs have not stopped. I mean, you're talking about like uh, Nugget. Let me bring up Nugget here. I mean, I was looking at these things. Holy cow. I mean, these things from like 14 to 31, that actually wasn't even the big one. I think it was JNUG, right? JNUG, I think, was probably the best. Pretty damn volatile, JNUG. Yeah, that stock, I mean, just in June was $30, already up to 90 I mean, this is like, yeah, Grant must be super excited, Grant. I know you were a big fan of gold. This is all you, buddy. This is payday for you. Hopefully, you're doing great. Congrats, you know? Listen, you know, sometimes you keep triggering, triggering away, and eventually you start taking off. So uh, just got to basically, yeah, <laughs> what? that's right. Watch you don't have a heart attack or anything like that. It's seen exciting, but it's just, um, it's, it, what do they say? Uh, what else is up pretty big, too? Bitcoin's up pretty big, too, up 25% from where, from where it, you know, it bottomed out on. I, you know, it's funny. I was looking at, you know, it's, I was looking at blockchain, like a R R I O T. Shockingly, that really didn't move though. Kind of, I don't know if it, what the hell the story with the stock. I don't know if it has anything to do with it, but you know, some of them are moving, some of them aren't. So I mean, we know that uh, overstocked it a little bit. That made a big move. But uh, but as anyway, before we start going through the watch list and see what's going on, it is Monday, guys. So let's be very careful what's going on. Uh, but talking about uh, what happened last week, we had the PHAA. I just wanted to talk about some of these stocks. 
that did pretty well on Friday. He made a little money on this one. Stock went from five, gapped up to about six ten, and went to about seven thirty. This one was pretty good on earnings. Pins, Pinterest. That one, some of you guys did really well too on pins. So pins, there we go. Uh pins right there had a nice little push, and then she kind of retraced. Can't take broke taking a profit, but it did exactly what it did when it opened up. Uh, hit its high and just came back right off. So that one uh, did pretty well on that earnings. Always got to take the profit. Square also came out earnings. A lot of stocks earnings are coming out. And also there's a lot of them coming out this week too. I mean, you got Hertz that's coming out. You got Weight Watchers. Tuesday, you got Disney that's coming out. So um, you're getting a lot of earnings that are come out. And hopefully a lot of it will make up for you know, the bad news that's coming out uh, that just came out recently, all this, you know, trade wars and, you know, gun violence, all this stuff. You know, it's funny. I was looking at some of the gun stocks. I really didn't see them moving too much. I, you know, I hate to bring this up, but, you know, sometimes when you hear some of these catastrophes of what's going on in the market regarding about these uh, mass shootings, sometimes you'll think that it would affect the uh, the gun market. Well, actually, what, Ruger, Ruger took a big hit right here. You can see that one went from, literally went from 56 and just tanked uh, all the way down to about 45. I mean, that's a hell of a haircut on Ruger. So, uh, I mean, Ruger could be a watch on the bounce. You know, I would keep an eye on that one, on Ruger. Keep an eye on that. It was Smith & Wesson, right, which was, was AO, AOBC is another one. You know, that one basically trading alongside with it, too. It's coming to some support levels. That one also could hold up pretty strong. You can see it's got support levels going to June, July. Took a little bit of a hit. Ruger took, obviously, took the most. But I want to keep an eye on some of those stocks on a dead cat bounce. You know, unfortunately, you know, guys, catastrophes make opportunities. They were good shorts. You know, you know when something affects, if it's a hurricane, if it's uh you know, if it's 9-11 when you had a plane crash or there's a mass shooting, you know, a, a drug uh, that uh, loses FDA approval, you know, us as traders, listen, the rest of Wall Street does the same thing, unfortunately. So, you know, as much as you have, you got to look at one way, you got to look at the other way as a trader because you got to remember something very important. What happens if you owned one of these stocks, right, and you're in that position and, so, and, and, and now it affects you personally and you had nothing to do with it? So what are you supposed to do? I mean, as much as you, you you're looking at it in one uh, in, in one set of eyes, but in the other set of eyes, you know it, it's going to kill you in the other way. So in, in, in the pocket, so you got to know how to trade it too. So you know when you're when something like that happens, you know uh, listen, I'll tell you a funny story, uh, not funny sad story actually. And then we're going to go to the watch list. I, I'll I'll never forget back uh, back in the day when those planes crashed in nine eleven. And I was doing a coaching class uh, with a student of mine from Las Vegas, and he just told me what happened, and the markets were still open. And let me tell you, I didn't get a chance to short my short a position. I got a chance to get out of all my swing positions and IRA, and good thing I got out of it because the market opened up 3,000 points after that, and I just bought it back 3,000 points. What am I supposed to do? I mean, it's, you know, if your house on fire and you had, a, and you had a, uh, $300,000 sitting in your, in, in your safe, you know, I know you're gonna to want to get out, but you might want. To, some people are like, "Wait, I got hundred, I got a lot of money in there. I don't want that to burn down with the house. That's all I got. And I lose that. I lose everything." So sometimes you got to look at it that way, and you know, unfortunately, it, it hurts. By the way, great movie you guys got to watch. I say it all the time. Watch The Biggest Short. It's a great movie. Kind of teaches so much about economics. All right, so let's go through the watch list because we do got a bunch of stocks that are moving. The stock A L L K has been um, pretty damn volatile. We saw it early this morning. I saw it around 8 o'clock this morning at 50. It ran to 65. Stock has gapped up huge. It came right up to the major resistance levels right around here. You could see it right around the uh, down December and now it's starting to back off. The only problem with this stock right here, it's just too damn volatile. Um, the spread is just humongous. It's a level 5 stock. So unless, you got, unless you're a level 5 trader, stay away from it. All right? TVIX is another one that's right now. Like, listen, all the ETFs are moving. What's going on with the news? The market's gonna is getting crushed right now. So all these ETFs are moving. So be very, very careful. By the way, Ken, um, regarding about the book map that you know you guys are talking about, I know you guys listen, 
is that thing incredible platform? Just to let you know, I know we have the on-site that's coming up next month. Uh, Bookmap is coming to our on-site, uh, and they're going to be doing an event for us here. Uh, so that's going to be one of the bonuses that you guys, one of the guest speakers that we have going on. So it's going to be a great, great, great uh, opportunity for you guys to meet the owners uh, of Bookmap if you come into on-site. All right? So um, and you're going to have a time to chat with them away too because they're going to be joining us for the blue carpet dinner. Blockchain, I'm going to throw out there also. I mean, what's going on? Big, uh, big, uh, Bitcoin, uh, the book mass, war, it's worth every penny, and it even helps you when you meet them. Now, regarding about blockchain, I don't know. I'm going to throw it out there just to see what's happening, you know, what's going on with the cryptocurrency. So I'll keep an eye on. I'll make this second protocol. Uh, GLYC came up on my radar also. This stock is getting crushed. I mean, could you talk about getting decimated? Stock was $13. Absolutely zero mercy. Went from 13, finally built some support levels at nine. You wake up this morning at four. I'm telling you, I tell you about this all the time, guys. You know what? Sometimes getting out at nine because you didn't get out at 13 is not the worst thing in the world because guess what? Now it opens up at four. How much lower could the stock go? It can go to zero. And you know what? Look at the trend of this thing. So you know what? One, the, a lot of the students that become uh, become students at Cybertrain University, not because about the winners, it's about because they can't control losers. And this is some of the things that we we spent a lot of time talking about in the phase two and three, phase one, two, and three, in the last phase of the courses. All right, so be careful of these stocks right here. I don't know if she's still on the short list, but she's obviously not looking too well. We got some ETFs in here. UVXY is one of them. Just guys, be very careful about all these ETFs. They're very, very brand name. If you look on the level three and you look at the level four platform, it's the orders are everywhere. They're very, very hard to trade. This is not by far any beginner stock. We know about J Nug Nugget. A couple of the stocks getting crushed. Look at cars. Cars is getting destroyed. Now, the difference between cars and a neat and and uh, a pharmaceutical, they do come back. All right. So cars. It looks like it's starting getting a little bit of a bounce, but the stock is obviously not doing too well. Uh, maybe you get a little bit of a dead cap bounce. You could see you don't see too many orders out there on the um, on the level three. But when I brought it up on uh, the level four platform, I started getting some data, not a whole lot. Which, but it did trade 157,000 shares out there. Um, I got a little bit of data over here. Not, not too crazy. You can see it right here. A couple of orders hovering right around here. But not, not too major. It was this big buyer right here. It got executed right here at uh, 1190 back around 830 this morning. So I'll keep an eye on it. Maybe get a little dead cap bounce on that one. All right. Uh, ben, you went long the GLYC. Bring that up. Well, there are some orders coming in there, right? It's all about seeing those orders getting executed. Look at the time in sales. You see, as eleven thousand share just got executed at four bucks, so it looks like four is really kind of holding some support levels right here. So definitely, you know, it looks like a good buy where you got it. So listen, not everything gets you know. Eventually, some things do come back. Just these, not all of a sudden, think like, oh, well, now maybe it's a swing trade. Remember, it takes a couple of days before. Uh, uh, you know, it happens over the course of the day, which, which trickles down to a swing. All right, guys. All right. So there's the watch list. Listen, uh, today is Monday. Got a lot more earnings that are coming out this week. You got a lot of news that came out. Market's going to be down. Just be very careful. I would probably recommend don't do anything for the first five minutes of the open. Let the smoke clear, let all the bots do what they have to do. And then we'll, we'll usually see something that will open up, uh, when the market opens up, but you got a bunch of stocks here to watch in the meantime. But, uh, you know, we'll see if anything does pop up when the market opens up. But I do like some of these stocks that are getting crushed, though, on the dead cap bounce. All right, guys, good luck today. Happy trading, and we'll see you back at 2.30 for the afternoon meeting. Good luck, everyone.